How's it smell in there? Not as bad as before. Well, that's good. I pooped. Okay, what is up everybody? Today, we are here and we are here with a new Burtlandia build. Last week's was Beijing Canadian's Fridge Supermarket. That was a quite wonderful build and we built other things as well because we normally build four things. And this week, as always, we've built four things. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this first of the lovely builds that we have built this week. And it is a lovely thing that most people need in their lives. Well, you don't need them, but you normally... It's nice to have them. It's furniture. It's a furniture store. So yes, we have finally built in a furniture store. So let's go ahead and then get inside. It's kind of chilly outside. I'm going to close the door. It's kind of chilly here. I'm wearing long sleeve shirts already. So yes, um, you can get any and all kinds of furnitures and art decorations and such in stores like that. I mean, you may even need some pottery and pots and stuff like that. So you can get your pots here as well. And also if you need, you know, a really small area that, you know, a child can take a bath in. I don't know if I can. Oh, I can fit in it. So, yes, I could take a bath in this if I really wanted to. It would be kind of dumb. But, I mean, I could do it. I wouldn't be comfortable, but I could do it. And, yes, like I said, art and, you know, your furniture because this is a furniture store. Most furniture stores, you know, normally carry other things other than just furniture. It also carries decorations and such and sorts like that. So, yes, um, you can get your normal type of wood. You can even get other exotic, more beautiful colored wood. So, you can get that color, that color, that color, and then you just normal wood color. And, uh, yes, we also carry uh, bedding. So, yes, you know, this would probably be like a full-size bed for, like, a college student. And then these are for the younger children who want a uh, bunk bed. Yes, I always enjoyed making the bunk beds. And, uh, I don't know. Yes, and you can both, like, someone can sleep down here and someone can sleep up here, which I thought was awesome. So, yes, these are both very versatile. So, make sure if your children want a bunk bed, you get them one. So, yes. And also, you know, we have our stone furniture, which most people don't enjoy because it's kind of hard on the ash, you know, that area of the, the body. And some other furnishings, just as like boxes and stuff. I used to have a uh, villager back here, but he was being kind of annoying. But I'm going to put him back just because I think uh, we're not going to have to hear him, hopefully, too much. But I, I made it a little smaller so he couldn't jump out. Well, technically, he could jump out. He just doesn't know how to parkour. He needs to come back here and do this. But he's too dumb. He's just going to be like, well, eventually, I'll sit here and I'll get out. Yeah, keep thinking that, buddy. Keep thinking that. And that's why I have you working here, because you're too dumb to work somewhere else. You're too dumb to work in the next place, which our next build, it requires smartness. It, it requires stuff like that. That's smartness. And that is a computer lounge. You need to be kind of smart to use a computer. Well, sort of slightly smarter than that guy back there. You can hear him complaining. He's like, oh, that guy's making fun of me. Well, it's because you're stupid. But yeah, this is a computer lounge. Let's go ahead and get in it. And yes, it has two doors. So you can enter either from the library area or you can enter from the side. So yes, it's got two doors to the computer lounge. This is for your laptop users. They just sit around and enjoy this area. So it's got a nice Wi-Fi boosted area. So a lot of people can use said computer lounge. And then there's, you know, these laptop areas as well. And these are the desktops. You know, they're kind of bulky. But yes, you know, you, you, you have to stand for these because, well, you know, the chair would I mean, just kind of get in the way. It's kind of a small little computer lounge, so you have to stand and use these computers. We actually had a computer uh, little area at my uh, college that I used to go to, and you used to have to stand up, and that sucked. That made my back hurt all the time. But yes, that's the computer lounge. It's kind of short, sweet to the point. I enjoyed. I loved, loved making this roof. It's kind of off because this side's a little longer than this side. But yes, it's like the first slightly OCD grabbing uh roof that i actually enjoy it's you know it's it's slightly off so uh yes i just really enjoyed it and uh yes so yes let's go ahead and get on to the next build which is up here it's a big build and you guys might already know what it is just by looking at it but you can see these signs that they say clearly what it is it is a cinema plaza it's a theater we wanted a theater and i've built a lot of theaters shut up yes i know you want to go to the theater but you can't i'm not gonna buy you tickets because you whine yes why but uh yeah this was the theater i enjoyed making these and, and i have built way too many theaters but i enjoy them and i think all these little areas within the nation of birdlandia they need these theaters so i have built the biggest theater that i've built so far and this is it um these are the seatings and it kind of you know it widens as it goes back but i thought that was a neat idea that kind of have so yes and uh these uh these pictures behind them are actually glowstone. So when I make it time set 18 
thousand, boom, it still lights up. It's still nice and wonderful, and you can actually come and enjoy the actual theater. And that is something that you definitely want to be able to do is enjoy a theater at night, because that's the best time to go to a movie. I love going to a movie at night. It's just the it's just the perfect time to go. And uh, yes, it's got a tarp, so if it rains or anything like that, you have nothing to worry about because it is nice and it's roofed and it's tarred. Well, that's not technically tar; it's just carpet, but this is supposed to be tar on top of the wood planking. So I thought that was a neat idea. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. And uh, I covered up the glowstone on the back so you can't tell this is just the backing of the said um, theater. So yes, that was nice. And our next build actually has a uh, partial other build to it and this is this little fountain right here where there was a, another lake right here and I decided yeah, it's time not for that lake to be there so I decided to do what I did right here and I kind of made it a area for it to you know spread so I thought that was a neat little idea I'm glad I was able to do it so now we can go onward this way and uh, I'm not sure if we'll go onward this way we may we, we can go this way and we can go this way but this build is over here in this little area it's this little um, I don't know what to call it like a peninsula uh, that's probably the wrong word I'm just being stupid I'm trying to use big words but <laughs> I uh, this is off this tip of this little uh, edge of the island so yes let's go ahead and show you this build and it is Minecraft Universe's Space Museum so yes this is a space museum you guys have definitely been wanting something Minecraft Universe related so yes, I've finally done it. I know you guys wanted like space like things, but I was like, I don't know if I can do that. But then someone finally hit me with this one and it was a space museum. And I was like, ah, I can do that. I can do that. So this is me testing the waters of building things space oriented. So I've never built anything space. So this is definitely something new for me. So yes, let's go ahead and get into it. And it is, well, as you walk in, it's got a lovely little space shuttle. This is a small space shuttle just for the fact that I didn't have too much room to work with. So it's a small, short, sweet, to the kind of point uh, space shuttle. So yes, I've never actually seen a space shuttle, but I used my imagination and they sort of kind of mostly look like this. And, uh, you know, it's got all this electronics and stuff in the back. And this is, it's, it's uh, those psh things, those thrusters. I don't fucking know what they're called, but that's what you, you get the idea. You get the idea. And uh, I know that... Uh, Space shuttles and stuff like that need a, a little extra um, heat absorption on the bottom, so I used obsidian. So I thought that would make sure that it's able to, you know, enter the Earth's atmosphere a little bit easier. So I thought that was a neat idea, and yes, this is kind of a small space shuttle, mind you, but yes. But this is also a museum, so this is on display, but other things are on display, just like these, uh, these thrusters. So these thrusters, there's another thrusters, there's also other things such as... Um, the insulation that they have to use up in space. A lot of the insulation up in space is made out of this really small, thin aluminum, but it's like kind of gold. So it's used to uh, make sure that, you know, the areas that they don't want hot don't get hot. So these are like insulated, like little tiles. Also, there's beautiful, beautiful little uh, meteorites up in space that actually have emeralds within them. And this is something that it kind of sort of looks like. Um, so yes, and then you have your meteorites on display. And these are just, you know, your iron you know your irony nickel -y, uh meteorites which most most meteorites are made out of either stone iron or nickel so yes i know a little bit about space so don't worry i know my i know my space and uh, also there's some jewels that you can actually find in space and i can't think of the name of the jewels at the moment but yes they actually kind of sort of look like an emerald in minecraft so yes you can actually take these jewels out of the meteorites and you can actually polish them and make them look all nice and pretty and they kind of look like this so yes it's an interesting idea and i thought that'd be kind of neat to have those on display as well and then we have other things like really tiny thrusters it's a it's a pot but come on use your imagination it's, it's a tiny little thruster it's those ones that you know kind of shoot you side to side to side and forward and back you know those ones where you try to connect to the uh <laughs> penis <laughs> but yeah you know what i mean and then this is just some moon rock so yes i thought that was a neat idea and yes it's a small little space museum but i really i actually really enjoyed this this was actually really fun it's a small neat kind of idea and i really did enjoy it so yes hopefully you guys enjoyed me finally building something minecraft universe related i just knew that his kind of build idea would be a tad bit more difficult to build than what i'm used to so hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you like this video and show it some love by doing all those other things such as SLCing, which i mean if you've already done the like you've already already got you already have the l done so yes slc stands for sub like and comment so make sure you do those and uh, yes, if you want this to be downloaded, uh, uh, downloadable, <laughs> downloadable on Planet Minecraft, let's try to get, hmm, 
Let's try to get 500 likes. 500 likes and I'll go ahead and put this down for Planet Minecraft so you guys can enjoy it and play on it. And, you know, you know, just enjoy it in general. So, yes, 500 likes and uh, SLCing and whatnot. So, yes, I shall say goodbye now. And, uh, yes, goodbye.